welcome back to my channel and I am Coach Colleen and this channel is called Raising Health. On this channel I will be teaching you how to eat right for life with food that you can trust and today we have a real fun fun topic because you know what next week is Valentine's so for you romantics out there who want to spice things up a little bit well it's a very good time to start absolutely immediately and today I'm going to tell you about seven foods for better sex plus a few to avoid. Okay guys, so if you're watching this video, I thank you so much in advance. Plus I'd like you to please subscribe. All you need to do is just push the subscribe button and every week when videos come through, you shall be notified. And hopefully um, I will be of some super duper help for you in the future going forward. So guys, let's get the show on the road. We are going to be talking about the seven foods for better sex, plus a few to avoid. Before I get started, I just would like to just mention that there have been so many exciting things taking place this past week for me. Colleen the Coach website finally got launched and it's looking so, so cool, guys. I'm really so happy with the outcome. And um, yeah, please just go and have a look. The link will be in the content or the bio of this video. Plus, um, I offer um, a free assessment. So yeah, go into the assessment section, just fill in your info, send it through to me and I shall be in touch because everyone gets a 20 minute free consultation. Just so I can explain to you what your options are and what I think you should be doing in order to correct the habits that you've perhaps got yourself into and to reach the goals. Okay, so back to better sex and Valentine's. Okay, so listen, everyone's always going, oh yeah, Valentine's, not a big deal, it's not a big deal, but guys, it is a big deal. It's like one day of the year where we can just make a little bit more of an effort and just do things a little bit differently with our other half. And if there's someone out there that you've got an eye on, you know, now's the time, you know, put your best foot forward. Okay, and there's nothing like a bit of confidence when you're feeling a little bit good about yourself. Now, it doesn't matter whether you're a guy or a girl, this is just a thing, you know, you feel good about yourself, you're getting into that little number that you hadn't squeezed in for a long, long time. And you know what? That's what it's all about. It's about connecting. It's about just leaving everything else behind and just enjoying yourself with your partner. You know, you don't have to turn it into, um, you know, something less or more than what it is. Just go and have a little bit of fun. But my job is to teach you how to eat right. So with that, what foods do we think or do we know could assist and aid in this Little journey, okay. So the reason why I'm putting I'm doing this video now one week before Valentine's because guys, if there is any chaos in that department for you, you know, maybe it's time just to spend the next week just eating right and just thinking about everything great that you're doing for yourself and building up a little bit of confidence. So if you are going to be heading out for that special date or just wanting to put your best foot forward for your, you know, your husband or wife or boyfriend or girlfriend, Beyonce, whatever, you know, it just, it's, it really does help. So it's a week to go, make the decision and just slow things down, stop eating rubbish and let's get you onto a really good little plan that will help and aid you in the bedroom for Valentine's. Okay, so one everyone seems to know, and that is oysters. Okay, so there's something to be said about those frisky Greeks and Romans. Okay, they were definitely onto something with this aphrodisiac. Okay, there, and also the oysters are high in zinc, um, which is linked to a lower sperm count. Okay, that's according to several studies. So, you know what, for you guys, just go for it. Get your oysters in. So, and I just actually love oysters. There's something about oysters that kind of, I don't know, you feel like kind of fancy when you're eating oysters. I love oysters. I must say, I haven't had them in a while. My favorite way to have an oyster is I would order my six and then I would just squeeze a bunch of lemon juice all over it, some Tabasco and some Himalayan salt. Oh, guys, it's delicious, delicious, delicious. Okay. And here in America, I just when I first got here in 2022 now, yeah, uh, we went to an oyster festival. I was so shocked. I mean, 
oysters. I didn't even think that oysters could be cooked. <laughs> Where I come from, we eat raw oysters in the shell. Um, okay, so I mean, there are other ways to get your oysters in. So I've discovered, thank you America, taught me something. And I said, I try a, um, I don't even know what it was. I mean, a fried oyster, is it what it, whatever it was. Um, it wasn't like too great. So I'm gonna rather just stick to the half shells. Okay, guys, this is the best one ever. Dark chocolate, dark chocolate. Okay, it's so high in antioxidants, great for your heart health as well, and it definitely gets things pumping in the bedroom as well. Okay, so hmm, apparently some studies actually link dark chocolate to erectile dysfunction. So, guys, if you're having a little bit of a struggle, I'm not saying now I'm going, you know, um, eat a whole chocolate lava cake you know i'm just saying get yourself a little bit of dark chocolate some great brands out there at the moment and um, with dark chocolate remember we don't do sugar around here so you know you'd obviously go like a really good quality high percentage and i wouldn't say anything under 75 percent yeah and so totally enjoy that i tend to like i like to enjoy my my chocolates on the weekends I always we always get a slab of chocolate but these days i've discovered this chocolate here in the stick and i'm so 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 stoked because she makes her chocolate at her own factory so it is so amazing to and you know and then you can just buy like a little piece you know like little um little nuggets of, of of chocolate and it's so amazing and it's just so it's such a pleasure to know where this chocolate came from you know so yeah, just a little bit of a nerd and <laughs> what did I say the other day? <laughs> Jim calls me Goody Morton. <laughs> okay, so again, you know, the beetroots, beets, everyone, you know, it seems to, you know, you always think of beets and it's not a very like, not a very sexy vegetable. But seriously, these beets are really, really good for you guys. You know, maybe just get yourself into a habit. If you have a juicer, go and get yourself some beets and carrots and um, some celery and cucumber. And maybe just juice every day, you know, make a make a big portion, put it in the freezer. Because seriously, guys, you know, get your beets and it helps with blood flow. And you know, you all need blood flow in that department. And then, of course, pack with potassium. Okay, so don't underestimate them. I have to laugh. Some people, apparently, apparently, some people say that it's um, classified as a romantic um, a vegetable. I just kind of see it as a bloody vegetable. So I suppose it's all a matter of opinion. Okay, guys, a no-brainer nuts and seeds, which are high in magnesium, boost circulation and energy. So you know what? I'm just visualizing this. You're at your, uh, you're at your Valentine's date and you've got a little platter out. You've got your nuts out. You've got your oysters out. You've got a whole little thing going on there. Um, oh, you can get some really beautiful dark chocolate. You can, you know, have that out as well. So I'm already like visualizing a whole little romantic food fest of aphrodisiac. <laughs> okay, there's another one, guys. Coffee. Okay, so coffee, they say, and it just helps you and makes you perky in the bedroom. Okay, so I'm not talking about, you know, doing four, five, six cups in the day and getting yourself all wired and freaking out and sweating and, you know, then getting all dehydrated. We're not talking about that. And also, if you're a little bit nervous about this date, you know, you don't want to get yourself all jittery by drinking so many cups of coffee. But, you know, maybe just like an hour or so before the date, you know, maybe just have yourself a little cappuccino or an espresso or something along those lines. You know, just get the, you know, just get the energy levels up. You will not regret it. Okay, so another a fruit that is really, really, really good um, for libido as well. And this is a really cool one because I, you know, with everything I just mentioned about the plateau with the oysters and the chocolate and the nuts, etc., etc., what complements it so beautifully. And that is watermelon, guys. That is so great. So you get your watermelon out and that'll hydrate you as well, you know. Okay, so that will help hydrate you. And apparently it has properties that help a lagging libido. So you know what? Hello, no brainer. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you these things, these foods are so delicious. Okay, and of course, I forgot to mention it's also potassium in the watermelon. So that also just helps with circulation. Okay, and then my favorite, favorite, favorite food ever. In fact, let me tell you, all these foods are my favorite foods. But the one here is avocado. I, my plants are their eating plants. Every single person 
I encourage you to eat half an avocado a day. I mean, it is absolutely brilliant, but it'll provide you with the oils and apparently it just helps with things running smoothly down there. So I wouldn't <laughs> trust me on that, but that's what they say. Okay, so guys, they are, let's just touch on foods to, to just limit in a sec. But I just want to go back to these seven foods. I mean, these foods are literally everyone's favorites, okay? So you know what? Get yourself organized. You've got a week to go before Valentine's, you know? And also what is so great about eating these types of foods, you're probably going to lose a little bit of weight, get in your half an hour a day, get in like a handful of nuts a day, oysters. Well, the oysters you can actually do on the date. So, okay, but the beets, you can get the beets in now. That is a really great one. Get yourself juice in, you know? So guys, this is so great. This is so much fun, you know? So I think, I think, you know, make an effort, you know? Don't sit back and think, oh yeah, you know, just another day. Yes, it is just another day, but you know, make it count, like do something special. You know, life is so hard at the moment and people are really taking so much strain. You know, you can do something fun. Just take the day. Even if you guys just take a walk down to the beach and sit on a bench and just talk. Just do something different, you know, to what you would do normally on a day to day. Make it, you know, even going out or just putting on some lipstick, you know. Just make an effort. Do something that you don't normally do. But yeah, it's so fun, guys. It's so fun. But listen, what I haven't mentioned which is also super, super important, actually probably like really important, is what not to do. Okay, so guys, don't go off on your date and, 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 and drink too much. Seriously, just have like one glass of wine, one beer, whatever it is you guys do. But seriously, you know, that one glass of wine, for example, will relax you a little bit and, you know, it'll loosen you up. And, and you know, wine also has a couple of good qualities as well. But, you know, don't, don't, don't throw your name away. Don't embarrass yourself. Just hang in there and just have one glass of wine. And, you know, seriously, make sure, you know, perhaps even have a, a snack before you go. You know, before you go, perhaps have, you know, have your handful of nuts and perhaps do some smashed avo, smashed avo and some sourdough bread or something along those lines. And just go out to this date feeling confident. You've spent the week shedding a few pounds, you're feeling good, have drink a lot of water, get your water in every day, your skin will start looking better. You know, put your best foot forward and make an effort, guys, make an effort. Okay, so just be careful on the booze. Okay, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to be, you don't want to be feeling tired and sluggish and, you know, you want to be, you know, alive and perky and full of life, okay? And then another one, guys, is spicy, greasy food. Whatever you do, stay away from that. It messes with your gut. Everything starts going rumble, 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 and don't want to say what else. But you know what? Just don't eat greasy food. Stay away from the French fries and fish and chips and the, all that kind of stuff. You know, just keep it clean. And yeah, have a great, great time. Okay, guys, so, wow, I'm kind of, like, that's done and dusted if I covered all the topics. Mm hmm Just like that, okay? So, you can go and you can get yourself organized. It is as easy as that. And you can really plan a whole week in advance and really feel good. And if you do have that person out there that you've already been on for a while and you just don't have the confidence to ask them out, Come on, guys, just do it. You know, you, just, you only live once. And you know what? What's the worst that could happen? What is the worst that could happen? They say no. So what? So what? You know what? Just go for it. I challenge you to go for it. Okay, so. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate you taking the time. If you know of anyone who would perhaps benefit from a channel like this, Raising Health, where I teach you how to eat right for life, I'm going to be providing you with tips and hacks on how to lose weight, how to eat low-carb diets, how to do a detox, all sorts of things. So watch the spot, this channel. Every week a new video will come out. So please, if you've enjoyed this video, push the subscribe button because then every week you will get a video and I am going to do my very, very best to keep these videos entertaining and interesting and most importantly helpful and just give you some tips that you can use right now today okay guys so i would just like to mention as well again on my website um, go to assessments 
I do a complimentary assessment. I offer a 20 minute consultation just to, you know, give, you know, just give you some feedback on what I found, you know, in your assessment. So this is really cool guys. And I really like connecting, you know, don't feel, you know, that it's, a, that I'm trying to catch you. I genuinely am not. Okay, guys, I'm going to love and leave you. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, you take care and catch you next week.